welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys the whole lot for subscribing to my channel for all of the support that i've gotten um from you guys here i appreciate a whole whole lot if you are new to my channel this is the first time of you coming across stylish niger youtube channel i will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button on the side and then also hit on that bell also to get notified whenever i upload a new video so that's just like basically the essence of that bell okay so today i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a floating shoulder cape down so you can see the picture up here it is on uh, like a trendy style I've, I, I came across this style and i really liked it so i decided to so show you how to actually cut and sew this tie so today i'm going to be making use i'm going to be mixing my fabric i'm going to be making use of a plain fabric and and cara so the plain fabric we're going to use for the main dress while the ankara is going to be for the cape so the plain fabric i'm going to be making use of two yards so this uh, for the um cape i have leftover fabric but i'm not sure i'll use uh, up to one yard for the cape so this is two yards and then i'll use about one yard for the cape so if you want to register for my online classes you can see my number scrolling through the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp um, for those that want to register so if you want to register that's when you should send me a message and you can also follow me on all of my social media platforms instagram facebook pinterest all at stylish niger so thank you so much let's just get started Okay, so I folded my fabric into two. I'm going to start drafting. So this um, dress, you can actually do it in two ways. You can decide to make a top and then a skirt. That's for it to have half cut. But I just decided to to make it straight. So it depends on what you want. And then you can also make it as a bustier. Just follow the whole the same process and to achieve. It. So for this, I'm going to be doing a regular basic body dress so the first thing we're going to measure out here is the shoulder measurement so shoulder i'm using okay i'm so sorry i have some basic lines here which i'm going to explain this first line i have here this is the shoulder line and then this is my bust line which is my bust point and then this is the under bust that's from the shoulder to bust bust point that's the nipple point that's 10 inches and then from this point to this point is 13 that's from shoulder to under bust is 13 then shoulder to waist, that's waist, I have 20, 19 inches, sorry. And then from shoulder to my hip, I have about 28 inches. And then from shoulder to my full length. So these are the lines, the basic lines that I have here. So now we're going to start imputing our measurement. The first measurement we're going to add is the shoulder measurement. So for like for beginners, the shoulder, you divide your shoulder measurement into two. Here I have 14, you divide 14 into 2, you have 7. I'm going to add just 1 inch. This 1 inch is going to serve as my stitching allowance. So from this point now, I'm going to measure 8 inches, which I'm going to use as my armhole line. So I'll rule it like this. So, and then also I folded my fabric. This is the front piece and then this is the back piece. So I folded them into twins. When you are making this kind of dress, the way you fold your dress, your fabric is you use the biggest part of your measurement. For this, the biggest part of my measurement is the hip part. So it's the hip part. So and my hip is 40. So when you divide 40 into 4, you add about 5 inches, 4 or 5 inches. So at the end of the day, you could say I folded my fabric at about 14 inches. So I added 4 inches to it. So that's why I fold my fabric is on fold at 14 and then the back is one inches one and a half inches inch inches inch bigger than the front because of the zipper so this is the back piece because of the zipper allowance so these are that's just what i did so from this point i'll just place my armhole curve like this and then i would i'll just mark to get the perfect armhole so from this point I will come down by one inch. This I'm going to slope into the neckline area to get my shoulder slope. Okay, so we're done. The next measurement I'm going to add now is the bust measurement. So my bust measurement is 36. You divide into four. I have nine. This is nine inches here. So I'm going to add about two, three inches. 
Now I'm adding three inches. I'm going to use one inch for the dart. So I just want to maintain that three inches. So my under bust measurement, I'm using 32. So you divide it into four, and then I'll still add three inches also. And then this is my waist measurement. So my waist measurement, you divide your waist measurement also into four. So I have 8.5 and then I'll add my 3 inches so I from this point when you take a look at it you see the way it is you see that a shape is already forming so that's how you will know if you are getting a very good measurement you see the shape of the dress is forming already so the next measurement I'm going to measure my hip measurement you know I told you initially I said it's for 40 inches so you divide it into four this is four which is 10 sorry and then I'm going to add my three inches also so now we'll connect our lines so you understand so you join this one to this one like this and then you see this you see the curve it's already coming you see the shape and then from this point you bring to this point like this so you see you just see the shape of the dress it's coming out already so for the down part because it is a pencil what i'm going to do what i have here i have 13 inches i'm going to reduce two inches from it so for the dance so i'm going to have 11 inches here all i'm just going to do now just take this and then i will do this so this actually gives you a perfect dress so you see how beautiful it is looking okay so we're going to cut the sides now so like i said i'm using one inch for that intake from that three inches that I added so I'm, going to, I'm just going to cut it a little bit outside like this because of the back armhole so and then I would cut out our shoulder slope and then I'll take this off for the front this is the, my front piece So for the front angle so that's that so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut out the neckline which is like the major um part of this tutorial so i'll open it up and then show you how we're going to float the shoulder okay so what we're going to do we're going to cut out the front piece first and then we'll use the front to cut out the back so when doing this kind of shoulder what you are going to put into consideration is the shoulder measurement so this is actually my shoulder measurement which is seven so i will just mark it so i will know um properly where it is going to be and then you put the neck width into consideration the neck width that's normal neck width even though we're not cutting it but you just put it into consideration so you know how wide the that's the part that you're going to be um, floating is going to be so for this we'll use 3.5 inches so this is 3.5 inches so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take my scissors like this and then i'll cut just give it a notch and then before i open up so that's like the width of the neckline so if you want it to be wider you can decide to use four inches for this i think let's just do four inches let's do four inches so this is four inches now You can even go as much as five but four inches i think is okay so you open it up now this is our four inches mark here this is it here so the next thing you are, we are going to do now is you are going to float this point like this to this to to the armhole point we are just like literally going to cut out everything so it depends on how and deep you actually want it to be but i think for this i'm going to go with about seven inches so this is the, the mark of our four inches so the next thing i'm going to do now so i said i'm going to make use of about seven inches so it depends on how open you want it to be this is seven inches here and then 7.5 will come down depends on how wide you want it to be so from this point here is what i i'm going to do depends on 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make something like a, a curve, just a tiny curve here like this. I, you can decide to slant it straight like this. So you curve it, just a tiny curve. And then you will use, I'll use my, my pattern curve like this. I'm just trying to get it as, okay, so you see with the pattern curve, it enters properly. So you just float it in inwards that way and then we'll cut out if you feel the seven inches is too wide it's too deep you can decide to come up a little bit so from this point i'll cut like this okay let's let's place back and front together it's always better that way when so this is the back piece now So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pin, because of the, the zipper allowance, I'm going to pin the back piece together. Because I need to open it flat to, to cut out the neckline. So you see I've pinned along the zipper allowance part. So I'll just open this up like this. So, and then you take the front piece like this and then I'll place both of them. So it's better to cut cut both the front and the back together this this will actually help you to get it very correctly so you don't make any mistakes so you just adjust so i'll cut both the back and the front neck right now and just float it into the armhole part so that's that. So you see this part is okay. The next thing we're going to do now, I want to join my, my dress together. So I'll join on the shoulder line and then join on the side. So it's better to join it before we cut out the collar so we can measure. We know the accurate measurement we we'll use to cut out the collar. So let's just go. Okay, so um, you can see I finished joining the sides of the dress. I've coupled it both sides. So the next thing I'm going to do, so before, you, if you notice from the two pictures that are on the thumbnail, you will notice that the one, there is one of the pictures, the floating neckline is very deep and then the other one, the floating neckline is not as deep as that. So if you, in case you don't want it to be very deep, you can just make it like a shallow V and then you'll be able to attach your boots and sleeves. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to be cutting and attaching the sleeves. So for the sleeves, I'm going to use my basic uh, sleeve pattern to cut this out. I already have the video on my channel, so I'll drop the link on, in the description box so you can just watch it in case you don't know how to cut it straight. So I've transferred uh, what I want to my pattern paper. So what I was trying to say is, so you see like this sleeve now, this now we're going to fix on this part like this. For this part, I'm just trying to show you, this one is going to... This one is just going to go into uh, the ample on this part. It's going to fit in properly because we are not cutting anything out. But this side where the floating neckline is, I'm going to show you how to actually do this. So this part now, we're going to reduce and this part. We're going to have to cut out to make this part like an off shoulder sleeve. So you can decide to moderate your um, basic sleeve already into your an off shoulder. Or if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you how to actually do that. Now. So we can fix it on this part of our sleeve. So what I mean is that this part now, that's this height, that's the curve, is going to go in. And then we're going to be left with this. So this is what we're going to actually fix on this part. This part is going to be our round armhole line and then on this part this is where we are going to fix our collar so the collar will get to this point and then it just drops on top of the sleeve so i hope you understand so i'm going to adjust my camera and do that okay so when drafting the sleeve i actually used five inches to drop that's from this point from here to here that's this point i actually used um, five inches to do the drop on this part so what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce that five inches to about four inches why i'm reducing it is i need about one inch to be able to fix so i'll be able to connect my sleeve on this part 
So here's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to reduce this by four inches, like I said, and then I would I will cut it off. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure my round arm hold. And then my round arm hold has from this point to this point, since it is an offshoot that is 10 inches. I'm just going to take my tape like this. So you see, it is more than 10 inches here. So I'm going to mark 5 inches here. And then I will add about 1 inch allowance to it. So this part, all this whole part, I'm going to cut. I'm actually going to cut off this part. So this is my 5 inches, which is for my round arm hole. And then 1 inch allowance. So here's what I'm just going to do. I'm just trying to blend it in. So now the curve is going to be on this part. So from this line, that's where my curve is going to be. I'll just blend it into the arm hole part like this. So I'll cut out this part now like this. And then trace from this part. This is where my arm hole, my round and sleeve measurement get to and then this is the extra one inch allowance that i added and then this is my arm hold what i'm just going to fix used to fix on this part so i'll just trim this like this so you see it is simple and easy. so now when i'm fixing i'm just going to take this like this and then i will fix it on those points like this just from here to here so you can decide to trim it out you can decide to to leave it not to trim it and then this part will be my round sleeve measurement so i'll transfer this to my fabric now and then okay so i've cut out um, my sleeve so i've transferred to my fabric and then i cut out band just uh, since i'm trying to mix the ankara so i'm going to use this for the tip of the sleeve i'll just join it just to elongate the sleeve a little bit more so i will take it back to my machine and then i'll go and join it this and uh, straight to sleeve that's this straight one that is the complete sleeve. I'm going to fix it. But this one, I'm going to show you. I'll bring it back and show you how to actually fix it on this other side. So I'll go over and do that and come back. Okay, so I'll come back. So you see, I finished fixing the long sleeve. That's the straight one. So I, I'm so sorry. I actually forgot to tell you the size of the band that I cut out. So I actually cut out about five and a half inches. So at the end of the day, after stitching, it became 4.5 because of the folds that I have inside. So that's the amount of fabric that I cut out. So I fixed this one. And then for this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark the point for you so you'll be able to see it and clearly. I'm just trying to get my... Okay, my chalk. So here, here is the armhole part. You know, after cutting off that 4 inches... After cutting off and doing the moderation, so this is what I have. So I'm just trying to mark it out so you'll be able to see it. That's this remaining part of the armhole part on my sleeve. So you see it properly. So this is it. And this is the center now. So here is how you are going to fix it. It is really simple. Here is how you would fix this um, off shoulder sleeve on this dress right now. You are just going to this is the center of my armhole that's after stitching this here is the center you are just going to take those parts like this now this is the center of that part you bring it together that's the center of the sleeve and then the center of the dress you pin it together like this i hope you can see it Okay, so you take the center, center like this. So this is the remaining small part of the armhole and then this is my dress. So you just make sure that this whole part that is marked, you stitch it to get to the end. Because if you do not stitch it to get to the end, this part, that's the round sleeve measurement, is going to be too wide. So you stitch it, let it get to this end now. And then you stitch this one also, let this one get to this end. For example, after stitching, maybe you wear the sleeve and then you find that because this is how the sleeve will now look like on this side. For example, you wear the sleeve after stitching and then this part is too wide. All you are going to do, you are just going to adjust it. If the way to adjust it, you open it a bit and then you push it in like that. You just push it in a little bit to get your, your round and tightness of sleeve. 
So I'll just go and fix it back and then we'll come back and measure this part so we'll be able to cut our collar nicely because the collar, there are some, you can stitch the collar, let it get to this point and stop. Some other ones even exceed into the armhole line. So it depends on what you want. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so and welcome back. So now the next thing we're going to do now, so I've finished joining the sleeve, is to cut out the collar. So like I explained to you, there are different ways of doing this collar. There are some that could stop here. Some could actually get to the end part of the sleeve. So mine, I'm going to get it to the end part of this my sleeve. That's the off-shoulder part. That's why you see I did not turn my sleeve. So I'm going to use the collar to turn it out. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to measure. I'm going to um, place this to get because i want to get this measurement that's the straightness of the neckline so i don't want to start drafting it afresh I, I did a rough one earlier on and when i tried it on it fits and perfectly well so i'm going to show you how i did this one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take my pattern paper like this because i don't want to waste my fabric so I'll take my pattern paper and then I'm going to place it like this. I'm placing it horizontally because I want to have this so I'll be able to draft the color. I'll be able to, to mark it however. So for this, what I just want to do now is just for me to get out the shape of the neckline. So you see just this shape like this. That's just what I want to get first. So I'm going to place it now and then I'll trace this part to this point like this. So I'm going to leave about like half of an inch. That's just what I'm going to leave on this part. Okay, so I already have my neckline shape already. So I'm just trying to blend it in, let it not be too and sharp. So I already have this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure out the size of the collar. So on this uh, shoulder part, which is on the shallow part of the collar, you can determine how much length you actually want to add to it. So for this, I think I'm going to use about 2.5 inches. So this is 2.5 inches. I'm just going to mark this part like this. I don't want it to be straight, so I'll just curve it in a little bit like this. So for this down part, on this ending part, you are going to determine how long. So you see this part, that's this part now. You see it like this now. That's how it will sit round. So this part, I don't want it to be too deep. So you see, so you can just blend it in a little bit. So the next thing you are going to determine now is the length of this part so that you can actually choose any length of your choice. What I used here initially was 9 inches. I think I'm going to repeat it because since I'm going to sew and turn, at the end of the day it's going to come, the length is going to come to about 7 inches or 7.5. So on this part I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark my 9 inches like this. And I want you to note something. On this part, here's what you are going to do. You can decide to, to just give it like a slant like this. So from this point, I'm just going to give it like a slant like this up to the my 9 inches um, mark point. And then on this other side, you can freehand it however, the shape of this down part, you can determine that by yourself. Because what I did, I just did a um, rough, um, so you could use um, dotted lines to just mark it out like this.
Okay, so for like I said, for this down part, you can do it however you want. So now I'm going to use my uh, pattern cuff to blend it properly. Now, that's the under part of my collar, just to give it a very undefined shape. So this part is, so I'm just going to blend it to come to this point. This is actually my 9 inches point. I'm going to blend it and let it come to this point like this. So this part I'm going to cut off. So you can decide to put this part, it depends on what you want. If you are adding this part, if you, if you are going to be using this plant, the color is going to it might be too wide so i just want this point to be straight like this so you see what i have just like this and then this fits in like this so that's that so what i'm going to do now for this kind of color i would advise for you to try it out with a pattern paper first that's always the beauty of using patterns try it out with a pattern paper first before transferring to your fabric it will actually help you to get the exact shape of what you'll be placing on your dress so I'm going to cut this out right now. So this was what I was talking about. If I'm, I'll, let me cut the straight one first. That's the first mark I need, and then we'll see the shape of the color. So this. So if I'm using this one, this is going to be the shape of my color. But I decided to to slant it in a little bit, so I'll trim off that part. what I have at the end of the day here so I'm going to place it on my dress and let me see before I continue so you see you see it's already looking like what we have on the picture so you see it so you see it so when by the time you fix it so once you fix it it's going to stay like this so you see it's going to come because of that neckline point that we took the measurement it's just going to follow and sit properly to this point so this part when i'm doing this this part i'm going to add about and that remember i actually stopped at half of an inch i'm going to add that half inch back on this side because i'm going to join this part together so this part is not this part is not going to be separated it's going to come together so i'm going to cut out four pieces of this now and then we'll turn on the down part the part where we're going to turn so i'll show you let me just cut it out first now i'm just going to place it like this so i'm just trying to double check it so this is how it's going to sit like this so you see that i have a little bit of excess because you know i told you i'm going to sew this part and turn it so for this down part you see, I made um, this part, it's not really, it's not entirely straight, it's a little bit curved, so it will be able to sit properly. So the next thing, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and join them. I actually cut out four pieces of this. I'm going to go and join them on the side side. That's what I mean by side side. I will join this part, join this down part. I will join this part, join this down part. And then this part I'm not going to join because I'm going to join both of them together. I'll do the same thing. But this top part I'm not going to join because this is where I used to turn it. So I'll take over, take it back now to my machine and turn it. Okay, so I finished and turning my collar, the both of them together. So you see them. So I actually did not iron any um, interfacing on them. Depends on what you want because I really don't want it to be. I want it to relax properly. So. Uh, what I'm going to do now, these two parts, I'm going to join them together like this. 
and the way to do that if you want to have a neat finishing i'm going to open them up like this and then i will stitch them together and then when you open it you have a neat and finish so i'm going to go and do that and then come back and show you how to connect it on the neckline okay so i finished joining together so you see what i have so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go and start sewing from this part so this is going to be the inside of my collar so this is the joint part so that's where i'm actually going to start and uh, stitching from so i'm going to turn it this way like this and then i'm going to start stitching so i will stitch it this is the right side facing this part so after stitching i'm going to stitch it around like this along the neckline part so for the for the zipper the back zipper i'm going to do an invisible zipper at the back so i'm going to open i'm just going to open in between and then i'll fix the zip on it i have a video on youtube i've done it before so i'm going to put the link on the description box so i'm, I'm just going to open in just measure about three just below the collar and then i'll open it up on this line and then i'll fix the zip there so it does not go into the neck it does not go into the collar so i'm going to go and stitch like this like i explained i'll just stitch it around i'll do that and then bring it back and show you okay so i finished uh, stitching so after stitching you are just going to you know i actually started from the shoulder line that's the neckline the shoulder neckline you just sew it around to the other armhole part so when, after sewing you turn it you just turn it down so to have that clean finishing when when i'm done i'm going to go and give it a good ironing so for this part so you see um the for the color that's this uh, other part you can decide to leave it like this but i think what i'm going to do i'm going to take this like this that's on the edge part i'm going to take it and i just want to do a top stitch just to like uh, secure this point like this or you can actually decide to leave it this way but i just want to so it does not start and uh, flapping around so i'll just give it a top stitch here on this part and then i'm done with the dress the next thing is just for me to fix my zipper and then i'll fold it down and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look of our floating shoulder dress okay so you can see this is the final and uh, look of our dress so you see it is looking so beautiful and well so you could see this the this part so my mannequin i showed that is a little bit small and then so i had to pin it on this part so it fits in and then there's something that i um, realized when cutting when cutting the neckline on this part i think i would advise for you to use a um, 3.5 inches you know i actually used um four inches so it's looking like it is um a little bit wide so 3.5 is just going to be very perfect so it does not start falling out from the shoulder so that's these are just some of the um arrangements these are just some of the changes that i noticed so you see it came out beautifully well so you see this part so that's what i was talking about so this part is just going to sit like this so when you put it on its hands this one does not have it she does not have a hand so thank you so much so if you find this um, video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button and then share a picture of this when you do it share it with me on you can share it with me on whatsapp you can share it with me on, on stylish and just join group or instagram thank you so much i'll see you in my next video makeup free